All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to waste any time, and I'm just going to cut right to the chase. If you've clicked on this video and you can clearly see that this concerns the man himself, Fred Van Vliet, there's a good chance you probably already know about the historic performance that Van Vliet put on the night before I'm recording this video. And yes, we all obviously know, as I mentioned, he did make history in that, and I will be getting into that in a second. However, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on a different area of the game that Fred Van Vliet might make history in that a lot of people have not come close to whatsoever. It does involve this game, yes, but we're really looking at the bigger picture here. As always, you guys, I'm really excited to get into this video, but before we do, I'm going to stop right here and give you guys five seconds to go down below and subscribe. If you guys have been around here before, you already know what this channel's about. I'm sure we're coming out with brand new NBA content on a daily basis, covering trending NBA topics like this one, countdown videos, what ifs, the list goes on and on. I really don't feel like you'd be disappointed if you subscribed and stuck around the channel. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Also, guys, if you can while you're down there, don't forget to slap a like on the video as well if you are going to enjoy it. I really do appreciate all the support around here, you guys. I truly can't say it enough, so thank you. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, as I briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you somehow did not see Fred Van Vliet's historic performance last night against the Orlando Magic, I'm somewhat convinced you may be living under a rock. Because last night against the Orlando Magic, this man put up an absolutely absurd stat line of 54 points, 17 for 23 shooting overall, and 11 for 14 from 3 throughout the game, which actually also set a record for Fred Van Vliet to become the Raptors' all-time leading scorer in a single game, while passing Toronto Raptors legend DeMar DeRozan. And with this game happening, I feel like I can confidently say that nobody was expecting this to happen out of Fred Van Vliet. We all know Fred Van Vliet is a solid all-around point guard, and he actually got the biggest contract by an undrafted player in NBA history this last offseason from the Toronto Raptors. But we gotta be real here, Fred Van Vliet is not known for his outbreaking and high-scoring games. He's definitely known for catching fire and sticking with it, especially in the 2019 Finals against the Warriors, but this performance was simply unprecedented. Off the top of my head, don't fact-check me on this, but I believe Fred Van Vliet's highest-scoring game before this was in the low 30s. And for a man like this to just come out and drop 54 on a professional NBA team while shooting 79% from three on 14 attempts is simply insane. And as I did not mention already, I will also note that Fred Van Vliet also did set the record for most points in a single game by an undrafted NBA player, which really just puts the cherry on top as we may never see anything like this ever again in the game. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, watching this performance and kind of looking at the bigger picture picture overall when you think of a guy like Fred Van Vliet, as he has so much potential going forward in his career, as he is only 26 years old right now, that he could, bear with me and hear me out on the word could, go down as one of, if not the greatest undrafted NBA player of all time. Now, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor and take that statement with a grain of salt, because I know before you even type it in the comments, that the most widely accepted best undrafted player in NBA history right now and may never be topped is Ben Wallace, and if you're some out here to try and argue that I wouldn't even bother as he has an accolade list of four-time all-star, two-time rebound champ, five-team all-NBA, six-time all-defensive, and four-time defensive player of the year. And like I just mentioned, and I'm very aware, that is going to be tough to top. I'm not going to lie. So maybe we can settle on a statement and say that possibly he could be top three all-time in terms of undrafted NBA players, which is definitely saying something considering this topic probably isn't discussed or even thought of that much by many NBA fans. As we already mentioned with Ben Wallace likely being at the top of this list at the very moment, I'm going to read off to you some players and the accolades of some highly regarded NBA players who were undrafted that are at the top of this list that we are talking about. Just to kind of use this as a reference and go more towards my point that Fred Van Vliet could definitely finish as one of the best undrafted players of all time. First player comparison I'm going to use for this is John Starks, who has personal accolades of one Sixth Man of the Year award as well as one NBA All-Star appearance in 1994, which in my personal opinion are two very achievable awards for Fred Van Vliet in the near future. Next up, we have Avery Johnson, who has on his resume the role of being a starting point guard on a championship team, and during this season, also having the most assists in the entire postseason for this, while also being the first player in NBA history to go undrafted and get their jersey number retired by their team. And the last comparison I wanted to use for this video to Fred Van Vliet is Bruce Bowen, who earned eight all-defensive team appearances throughout his career, as well as three championship rings. So yeah, you guys, obviously 
obviously some of these achievements for Fred Van Vliet are a bit far-fetched, but I feel like it's ridiculous to say that he couldn't at some point be in the company of these players when his career is all said and done. Because like I said before, which I was not aware of before I started making this video, that Fred Van Vliet is only 26 years old. And while being this young, he already has the 2019 championship under his belt and playing a crucial role in that series, along with playing another big role for the two seed Raptors last year as he averaged 17 and a half points, six and a half rebounds, and two assists per game in that season. And so far this season, putting up 20 and a half points, four rebounds, and six assists per game, while also, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, coming off one of the best performances we will probably ever see by an undrafted player in the league. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't know about you guys, but I've never really thought of this situation where Fred Van Vliet could go down in history as one of the best players in this category. Like, yeah, I've always thought of him as a solid player. There's no doubt about that, and I was really happy to see the contract he received from Toronto this offseason. But this 54-game performance by him the other night against Orlando really opened my eyes in terms of what kind of a player he actually is. Also, when doing the research and realizing that this man has such a positive future ahead of them and so much potential going forward, like, really thinking about it, if he comes and goes throughout his career as normal NBA players do, then Fred Van Vliet has yet to hit the prime of his NBA career. Which is pretty insane to me, you guys, when you just really sit there and think about that. But, I don't know, you guys. After seeing this performance from Fred Van Vliet and just kind of thinking about it for the last day or so, I thought, hey, why not make a video on it for you guys? And kind of get you guys on the same thinking pattern that I'm on right now. I want to converse with you guys about this, so leave me comments what you have to think about the whole Fred Van Vliet situation going forward. I also want you guys to comment answering this question down below if you're still here. Do you think that Fred Van Vliet will ever be an all-star in his career? I personally say yes. I think he is going to accomplish this at some point in his career. That's just me, though. So leave me your feedback on this and really anything else you want to talk about in the comments below, you guys. I read every single one. But as always, you guys, I'm really hoping you did enjoy the video and I appreciate you for watching. Once again, if you are new around here or you haven't done so yet, I'm highly recommending you to go down below and subscribe. Like I said, brand new NBA videos on a daily basis. You guys don't want to miss out on what we have to offer. So once again, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.